Look what has become of you. A rat in the desert. Look what I have risen above. What could the Obi-Wan Kenobi show be about? That's right, an Obi-Wan Kenobi show is actually happening and it's starring Ewan McGregor. But this leads us to wonder what adventures will old Ben be up to? No official details were revealed, so we're turning to the Star Wars canon and reaching out with our feelings for an idea of what to expect. We do know the show will take place in the years between Revenge of the Sith Hello there. and A New Hope. Hello there. And it just so happens this time in Kenobi's life has been previously explored in various shows, books, and comics, so let's dive into those ancient Jedi texts for an idea of what to look forward to. I will take the child and watch over him. Obi-Wan told Yoda exactly how he envisioned his immediate future in the closing moments of Revenge of the Sith. After Padme Amidala died on Polis Masa, he took one of her twins to the Outer Rim desert world of Tatooine to live with family, Owen and Beru Lars, a hearty couple that definitely won't want Obi-Wan's help at any point. After riding off into the twin sunset, Kenobi made himself a home in the Dunland Wastes. He kept his Jedi identity a secret and flew under the radar, though when the Bantha Pudu hit the fan, he had to get involved. Jabba the Hutt's thugs extorted the absolutely in need of Obi-Wan's help Lars family and threatened to enslave young Skywalker. This forced Kenobi to handle the situation and bail out Luke and the Lars family, staying unseen the whole time using the Force as his ally. About a year later, Obi-Wan again saved Luke and the Lars family when Jabba's thugs came to visit, this time with the help of the massive Wookiee bounty hunter, Black Haranston, who beat up Owen Lars pretty badly until Kenobi showed up. Owen definitely almost died that day, saved by Kenobi and a young Luke behind the stick of his trusty T-65 Skyhopper. In Star Wars Rebels, an older Obi-Wan faced off with Maul for the final time. Maul survived their first encounter despite being cut in half. He also survived three other fights with the legendary Jedi during the Clone Wars. When he cornered Kenobi on Tatooine, he believed it would be their final encounter, and he was right. Once Maul figured out the real reason Kenobi was hiding out on Tatooine, it was clear that if he left that campfire alive, he'd immediately kill the Lars family and make off with Luke. Thankfully for Owen, Luke, and the rest of the galaxy, it didn't work out that way. <laughs> Princess Leia Organa sent R2-D2 to Tatooine on a mission to find Kenobi, and despite some difficulties, the little droid was successful. Luke finally learned that Old Ben isn't this guy's real name after all, and the rest is history. Thanks to Kenobi's efforts, the Jedi returned, the Death Star was destroyed, and hope was restored, even though Owen and Beru Lars finally realized how much they needed Obi-Wan. We know when the show happens. The D23 Star Wars timeline places the series at the same time as the events of Solo, a Star Wars story, and some of the events of that movie could be reflected here. Characters could also easily cross over. More on that in a second. The show has to be at least based on Tatooine. Obi-Wan can't leave. If he left it up to Owen and Beru to watch over Luke, well, we have a pretty good idea of how that would have turned out. And Tatooine is a lawless world, run mostly by gangsters, including Jabba the Hutt. Obi-Wan has already dealt with Jabba's goons more than once, so we figure this series has to explain exactly why old Ben speaks so highly of Mos Eisley. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. And speaking of underworldly types, at this time in the galaxy, Maul is the head of the Crimson Dawn Crime Syndicate, or he's on his way to that. It is possible, however unlikely, that he and Obi-Wan could fight again, years before their final showdown in Rebels. And Darth Maul actor Ray Park has been training hard since before Solo came out. And if you follow him on Instagram, he almost always has a lightsaber in his hands. If Disney Plus wanted to give us an epic Maul vs. Obi-Wan live action rematch, now would be the perfect opportunity. <laughs> But now it's your turn. Do you want to see Obi-Wan Kenobi and Maul clash lightsabers again? What do you expect from a Kenobi TV series? Let us know right down below in the comments. 
Thank you for watching. And now that you're caught up, here's everything you need to know about Mandalore and 19 things you missed from the Jedi Fallen Order demo. Be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN.